We've all heard about how public and private organizations are gathering telephone call records and then searching those call records for investigative purposes to discover potential threats to our society. There's a huge amount of data available and these organizations need to prioritize their efforts due to limited budgets and limited time. Sentinel Visualizer allows you to visualize the data through link analysis to help those organizations determine how best to allocate their money resources and people resources. So what do telephone call records look like? Well, they come in all shapes and sizes. Here we have some examples, and you can see we have several thousand rows of data. Here's another example of telephone call records, a different format. Here's yet another one. The point is, how can organizations make heads or tails out of these large sets of data? Well, when they upload it into Sentinel Visualizer, we get a visualization of the telephone calls being made between and among the telephones. So if we were to zoom in to take a closer look at this data, we can see these are very small networks of just one telephone number calling another telephone number. Over in this area is slightly larger networks, multiple telephone numbers calling other telephone numbers. And in this area over here, we have quite a large network of telephone numbers calling other telephone numbers. So if we were to take our mouse and highlight that network to isolate that network and study it more closely. So here we have that network isolated and we can zoom around taking a look at how the telephones are connected to each other through telephone call records the telephone call records that we imported from the Excel spreadsheet. Now imagine that some of these telephone numbers were on a targeted watch list. We can actually display the targeted phone numbers and discover how certain targeted phone numbers are actually talking to other targeted phone numbers. In fact, we see this very interesting connection in this area here. This targeted phone number is talking to these phone numbers that are not currently on the targeted list, but this phone number is also connected through these intermediaries. So perhaps the investigative organizations should be taking a look at these phone numbers that are connected between the two targeted phone numbers. To take it a step further, if we were to select two targeted phone numbers and then use Sentinel Visualizer's shortest path tool, we can filter out the noise and we discover that these two phone numbers that are currently not on the targeted list actually connect two targeted phone numbers. We are discovering intermediaries between two targeted phone numbers, thus further proof as to how Sentinel Visualizer can help the investigative organizations focus their efforts to target the bad guys. Now let's take a look at this same data from another perspective. Here we have the original network of telephone call records. Now what if we were to have another set of data? What is in effect a government watch list? Here we have a list of people and whether they are on a watch list. If we overlaid this data on top of the telephone call record data, we could actually discover who owns the phones. And now it's not just how telephones are connected, it's how people are connected. Moreover, if we were to use Sentinel Visualizer's metadata tool, we can actually see by color code 
the people that are on the targeted watch list and in fact discover something very interesting here. Two people that are on the watch list are talking to someone who is not on the watch list. Perhaps the investigative organization should start investigating this person because they are connected to two people that are on a watch list. But we're not done. Let's combine the watch list of the people with the targeted list of the telephone numbers. And in fact, we find a cross section and we locate both the people on the watch list and or the telephone numbers that are on the targeted list. So little by little, we are honing in on those people and telephone numbers that are in the zone of suspicion. Now let's take a look at this network right here. We're going to highlight it, send it out to a new visualizer. And we're going to re-enable our filter for targeted phone numbers. and we're going to re-enable our metadata for people in the watch list. Now as we expand, go out further and further to widen the net of people, in fact we find this network of people. And isn't it interesting to see that these two people have these phone numbers as intermediaries who is calling this phone number who is currently not on a watch, a targeted list, is owned by this person who is also not on a targeted list. Yet they are connected to targeted phone numbers and targeted people. Again, another fascinating example of how Sentinel Visualizer helps investigative organizations discover links, connections, and relationships within sets of data such as telephone call records helping to find the bad guys. In conclusion, Sentinel Visualizer is used to discover connections, relationships, and patterns within large sets of data such as telephone call records to help maximize your resources both monetary and from a personnel perspective in your daily investigative efforts.